the fairies and brownies evaporated when you took the runes back, maybe we should leave them alone. No way! They probably cursed them, or enchanted them. I don't care. They're ours again and probably more powerful now. Or more dangerous. Don't worry. I'll protect you again if the fairies come back and try to braid your hair. They did not try to braid my... Never mind. Thank you for retrieving the runes, Traveler. We will give you some for your troubles. Huh? Oh, right. Fighting time. Divine light. Burn through mine enemies. I'm always up for seeing people fighting over me. Divine light. Burn through mine enemies. How do you like this? Thanks for the help, beautiful. time. Thank <laughs> you. 
Spies tell me that you met with Lord Aiden. He's been in this forest longer than most of us. The Inquisitor thinks highly of himself. Such a noble, strong man. If he were any weaker, he would have surrendered to desire a long time ago. Hmm. I was once like you, filled with ambition to discover the secrets this labyrinth holds. It's hard to imagine how naive I was back then. This labyrinth is a carefully designed trap, built for a singular purpose. The manifestation of the guilt prophecy. You've heard my words before, but your ears and thoughts betray you, traveler. The heart of chaos burns inside us all. Everything dies, eventually. Oh. 
You stand before Duke Horus Giamata, Guardian of the Southern Reach, Lord of Giamata Keep. Lady Jacinda Brightflame, claimed to be a member of a house not heard from in nearly 5,000 years. Is this the truth? This woman is accused of murder. Many of your soldiers were slaughtered on her command. She should be met with swift justice before she does any more harm. Very well. Discharge the King's justice upon her. You stand accused of murder, of inciting violence against the soldiers and adventurers in the service of our Lord, Duke Horus Osgiamata. Do you deny these claims? Lady Jacinda of House Brightflame, I, Lady Selmyra of House Giamata, Adjutant General and Servant to the Light of Justice, find you guilty and hereby sentence you to die. Stop! Does the accused not warrant a chance to speak her last words? If what she says is true, that she belongs to an ancient house that nobody has spoken of since the Age of Darkness, shouldn't we hear what she has to say? Silence, Lady Jenica. The law is clear. She must die now. The girl has a point. We should hear what she has to say. Yes, yes, let her speak. Fling in this Indros Indira Grumma. Beyond the veil of reality, in a land where time cannot reach, ancient Indra sleeps. What riddle is this? The dragon spoke these same words. Take her away, and lock her in the darkest cell in the dungeon. My lords and ladies, court is adjourned for the day. The more we learn about that vile labyrinth, the more I wonder if we should bar the entrance and explore no further. You have served us well. We shall speak again. No, oh, is it bad to admit that I was rooting for Lady Jacinda during the trial? I have no time for sp Lord Lucius would like to speak with you. I heard about the events in court the other day. All of the pieces of the puzzle are aligning. The labyrinth is a realm outside of time. Like the words Lady Jacinda spoke. That is why she was able to survive there for so long. That still doesn't answer why she was down there and who this injured character is. As a knight, anointed in the grace of the Father, I am intimately familiar with the Father. Ancient of Days. I've heard of the Mother, Ancient of Life, and the god that Giblings worship, the Ender, Ancient of Death. But this Indra, Ancient of Chaos, could this be another god that nobody here on Trinity worships? If there are answers to be had, then I believe the Traveler and his party will find them. The Inquisitor we've heard about, both he and Jacinda say the Labyrinth is a trap. If this is true, then how did you escape? We shall discover the answers to all your questions, Great Uncle. I have faith in our adventurers.